Today we're removing the curtain from Little Rock Lake. The, it was uh, the site of a, several experiments. Um, the curtain divide this hourglass-shaped lake into two. One half was the treatment basin, the other half we left alone to be a reference basin. We did several experiments. The first was we acidified one half of the basin to investigate the effects of acid rain. And so that was a six-year experiment where we acidified in three two-year stages. And there were all kinds of effects. We learned a lot about acidification. For example, the largemouth bass were unable to successfully reproduce at the highest acidity levels. The amount of mercury that became methylated or put into its poisonous form increased and also increased in the fish tissues. So we were able to establish a link between acidification and the poisonous form of mercury in fish tissues. And today the curtain is coming out after about 30 years of service. Today we're removing the separation barrier between the two basins of Little Rock Lake. Our divers are going to go out and first uh, descend in the middle of the curtain and work their way out to the two shorelines, freeing the curtain at the bottom. And then we'll meet back at the surface and talk through the next procedures, which will be to slice the curtain vertically into manageable pieces, pull those into the boat, bring them back to shore, put them in a dumpster. And then we will have remaining the floats at the surface, which we will separate from the shoreline and tow back to shore and throw those in the dumpster. What we were hoping to achieve was um, a definitive answer about what happens to a lake as it gradually acidifies. Um, the question was, if we moved this lake to the Adirondacks, or if we moved it to Sweden, or to uh, the east coast of Canada, how would it change? And would the changes look like uh, what people are seeing in lakes in those areas uh, which seem to have been acidified? And at the onset of the experiment, the investigators got together uh, and made a list of predictions that were based on those, on those questions. Um, and so we chipped away and basically answered most of the questions we set out to answer. We were successful in showing uh, initially that it took very little acid to change the pH of this lake. So the work that we did here to establish the cause-effect relationships between acidification and ecological effects is general understanding that can be used to understand lakes worldwide. Yeah, this is a great example of, of um, thinking globally, acting locally, because this, uh, this is a small lake in northern Wisconsin, but the work that was done here has global implications.